What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the rack system that is on our third gen coma behind me and why we chose it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I would like to mention about this roof rack along with this bed rack is that it is made by a local company called Uptop Overland. They are just based about 45 minutes from our shop down in Castle Rock, Colorado. So let's talk about the roof rack first. So Uptop Overland, they offer two kinds of roof racks for your Tacoma. And that is gonna be the Alpha, which is what you see here. The other one is gonna be called the Bravo. The Alpha has two outer plates as you see here. The outer plate is gonna be a 3 16 aluminum. The inner one is a quarter inch aluminum. And as you can tell, when they are butted up together, they create a gap in between and they designed that intentionally for a reason. They designed it so that way you can have wires hidden down in between, kind of like how we have here with our antenna mount here. One of the trends that Uptop Overland started is that they allowed you to choose if you wanted your side plates to be color matched to your vehicle or just powder coated to any color that you'd like. So for example, we have ours black on black but you could choose a color that could be coated on the inner plate or the outer plate to match the color of your truck, like on our 4Runner. Another thing that you guys will see here is the handles. So these grab handles are pretty unique to this rack just because the system that they built is super cool. This actual handle itself is not made by them. This is made by a different company here, but they accommodate this to work with the inner piece that they fabricated and then put onto the rack here. And these support up to 500 pounds. So if you really wanted to yank on it, you can definitely do so without having to worry about it breaking. These handles are really handy for accessing anything that you have on top. For example, our Pelican box that we have here or anything that you want to mount on top of your roof. One of my favorite features about their rack is that they have these patented grooves in their roof racks and also their bed racks. But as you can see here, they have little rounded ends and they did that for a specific reason. So I have right here one of the perfect bungee bungees. So these are kind of cool because they are extremely durable and they have these rubberized ends so that way they don't scratch anything when you use them. And up top Overland created it so that way they hook in and lock into place when you use them with their racks. So obviously if you wanted to mount something on your roof rack and you just wanted to hold it down with one of these perfect bungees, you can definitely do so. The Perfect Bungee also makes a web style. So I think it has anywhere between six to eight um, webs. That way you can really tie something down. For an example, a tire or a weatherproof bag on top. Another really cool trend that Up Top Overland started is this here. This is a rock light that is integrated into your roof rack. So this around it, this is called a scene pod and it accommodates for a Baja Designs rock light. So that way when it is mounted onto your roof rack, it all looks like it's a part of each other. My favorite thing about the Uptop Overland roof rack definitely has to be the fairing that you can choose on the very front of your roof rack. So this one was made to accommodate seven Baja Designs LP4 lights. And as you can kind of see, they made it so that way the actual cutout of the fairing fits the light really, really well. So obviously if you don't want to run seven LP4s like we are, they do make a universal 40 inch cutout so that way you can run a standard 40 inch light bar. Another feature that Uptop Overland has is that their roof rack is 50 inches wide so that way you have the maximum amount of square footage to put anything up top that you would like. So for example, if you wanted to put drywall up here or plywood, it's about four feet by eight feet. So this rack would definitely accommodate for that. So that way you don't have anything overhanging the roof and everything would be contained on the actual roof rack. 
Now we're in the back of the truck. We're gonna be talking about the racks that we have on the bed. All right, so what we have here is actually two racks. The bottom, this is what they call the truss. So the truss is your typical bed rack where it has three legs, it comes up, and then a load bar connects the two legs on each side. So this is the full height bed rack. And then on top of that, this up here is the EX Alpha. So the EX Alpha is basically a rack for the bed rack. So the EX Alpha, just like the Alpha that is on your roof rack, has the exact same features. So you can have the rock light built in, you can have the handles as well, and then it does have that double side plate, just like the front roof rack. And as you can see here, they meet up nicely. And then there is a gap just to allow the bed flex so that way it doesn't hit each other and it looks seamless when they are seated up next to each other using the full height bed rack. On the sides of the truss bed rack, you guys can see here, you guys can mount anything you want. So we have a Demos and then we have a Rotopax um, two gallon fuel tank mounted on the side of the bed rack. On the other side, you guys did see the Max Tracks that we have on there. So you can definitely mount your Max Tracks or Action Tracks on either side. Looking in the bed, you guys can see a couple of things mounted to the actual bed rack itself. So you guys see here, we have a Rotopax two gallon fuel tank mounted under the actual bed rack itself. This mount is called the UTM, or also known as the under truss mount since the bed rack is called the truss. So it mounts underneath and then you can run either uh, a Rotopax or pretty much anything you want to mount under there. There is also a light cutout for a rock light if you wanted to put one there. But as you guys can see here, I have one here, one on the other side. So that way my tailgate is illuminated when we're camping at night and need to see our tailgate so that way we're cooking or whatever, we have it nice and lit up. You guys will also see here, we have a Baja Designs light bar. This is actually their RTL. So it basically acts as another tail light. Turn signals, brake, reverse. This thing, the it has the reverse in it that is super bright so it lights up the back really well so that way we see everything when we're in reverse. And then we also have a set of chase lights mounted to the bed rack as well. So Baja Designs, these are the S2s. So that way when it's super dusty or when it's snowing and, and we have a couple people following us, we can turn those on and that way they see us. It doesn't matter if it's dusty or not. So the bed rack itself, along with everything is aluminum. And as you guys can see here, they have their patented Groove Tech technology right here. So that way you can use the perfect bungee to attach it in there and then run it to the other side or pretty much anything you'd like, like your bed stiffener to tie down anything that you have that needs tying down. Here you will see the two by one inch extruded load bars that they use. So these load bars are gonna be used throughout all of their bed racks and roof racks. And they are pretty light, but they are heavy duty enough where it will support like a rooftop tent. Not only we have our rooftop tent on here all year round, but we just got back from SEMA in Las Vegas. So we currently didn't have time to put our tent back on just yet. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. We will have all the products in the description as always. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on that bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time we post a new video and we will see you guys next time. Peace.